I don't know why, but my brain just did the whole like, I look like a moose. <laughs> But a very, very cute moose. Make all the boy moose go hua. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Fit Curls. My name is Angela. I'm a fitness professional and a curly hair enthusiast, and I use this channel to teach you how to keep your curls in shape. So don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell next to it so you don't miss a single thing. Now, today, we are talking about my absolute favorite hair tool on the face of the planet. I am going to show you every possible way that I know of so far to use the Denman brush to define your curls. So if you're excited for this video, go ahead and hit it with a thumbs up. And without further ado, let's get styling. So the brush that I am using today is what is considered Denman's classic styler. This is the D3. This is a brush with seven rows of bristles. Now the fun part is you can actually take the pad of the brush out and remove one or more rows of bristles. Either to clean it, because hygiene is important, or to change up the amount of tension that is placed on your curls, which will then vary the size of clump that you wind up getting. The more rows in the Denman brush, the tighter and smaller your clumps are going to be. So choose accordingly. I am starting with, as usual, clean, wet hair. I did prep my hair before styling with a little bit of the Curls Blueberry Bliss Leave-In Conditioner. Try saying that several times in a row. I'll bet you can't. I'm only going to be using one product to style my hair today, and that is the EcoSlay Orange Marmalade. The first technique I am going to show you is the one that I do pretty much all the time. It is a very standard technique with the Denman brush, and I like to dub it ribbon curls. The technique is basically using the Denman brush like a pair of scissors that you would use to curl the ribbon on top of a present. Divide your hair into sections roughly the size of the diameter of your typical curl pattern. Place the brush right in at the root, quarter turn, add some tension, run it along the length, shake at the root, and then the finishing touch is a little scrunch. See it one more time. Oh, those are happy clumps. Now, if you've been following me for any length of time at all, you have seen this particular technique. If you want a fully fleshed out video from start to finish of how I do this technique on every section of my hair, you can click the link above. This to me is one of the fastest and easiest ways to really get very well defined yet still natural looking curls using the Denman. Moving on to the next section of my head, I'm going to show you a slightly different technique. We'll call this one spin styling, which I hope will be self-explanatory in a second. For spin styling, you're gonna take the brush, place it very similarly right at the root. And you're just gonna take the brush and continuously spin it down the length of the hair. Similar ending, shake, scrunch. And you can do this either towards the face or away from the face, depending on which direction makes your curls the happiest. That is entirely up to you and your hair to figure out. And the easiest way to do that is really just trial and error. Try a section one direction. If it feels like it totally flopped on you, try it the other way. And as always, feel free to reshape any wayward pieces with your fingers. So that is what my finished spin styling looks like. It's a little different, but it can actually help you encourage a little bit more curl in your end if you find that the ends wind up being kind of a trouble area for you. For some of you, styling in vertical sections may feel awkward. It may yield some kind of strange, wonky looking clumps. And in that case, you can actually take horizontal sections. So I'm gonna demonstrate that on this side of my head here. Yeah, I'm literally using four different techniques on four completely different sections of my head. Will I look crazy? Maybe. Are we all about to find out together? You bet your sweet baby we are. Same basic premise as the ribbon curls technique that I showed you before. You're just gonna split it horizontally, detangle. Remember that part is important. Otherwise this could be a very painful process for you. Please do not let it be a very painful process. If it's painful, change something. Take the brush, you're gonna place it again, right at the root. That's how you can encourage that curl starting at the root. Take that quarter turn, apply that extra tension, run it down the length of the curls. Do a little shake. Ah! It's better if you clip the extra hair out of the way instead of being like me. Don't be like me. 
Ooh, look at these pretty juicy clumps. We're gonna finish the rest of this section off at warp speed. I do definitely still recommend using the ribbon curling technique, even if you do choose to section horizontally. This is because that added tension can really help each curl find its happy family, no more orphans, and the tension also helps it to spring back. So it's gonna give you a better curl formation overall. All right, here are the finished results in horizontal sections. Try it out for yourself, whether you want to do vertical or horizontal sections. It There are, you have options. On this last section, I am going to be showing you a very different technique with the Denman brush. If your hair tends to be a little wavier on top, curlier on the bottom, this is one of the techniques that you can use to help encourage an appearance of uniformity if that's the look you're going for. This is Denman brush coiling. Pick up kind of random pieces that feel like they really clump together. Take the brush so that, I guess when we consider this upside down, put it in at the root, let the rest of the hair go. You are then going to start twisting and rolling the brush downward or directly outward if you want a little bit more root volume. And you're going to continue twisting like this as you gradually move the brush all the way out the bottom of that curl. Look at that pretty baby. It's all spirally. Now, if you find that coiling the brush in one direction on a particular clump makes the clump fall apart, fall out of the brush, kind of look just weird once it comes off the brush, pick that clump back up again, try coiling it the opposite direction. Our hair's patterns have very clear preferences as to their direction. We try to dictate that too much, we wind up with wonk. And as you know, here at the Fit Curls, we don't like wonk. And we have a curl, <laughs> much better. I did actually do this to my entire head once before as an alternative to finger coiling. If you find that your hair doesn't naturally form spirals yet and you want those perfect spiral ringlets, this is a great technique to do all over. And it definitely is gonna take a lot, a lot less time than a full head of finger coils. Now, any of these techniques, once you are done with them, I recommend scrunching if you want to really plump up and enhance the shape of the curl. And now for the fun part, I am going to go diffuse my hair and we're going to find out what each one of these techniques looks like dry. I'll be back soon. Okay, we are dry and surprisingly uniform, but I wanna go through each section and just show you how each different technique looks when it's dry. So if you remember, the bottom is the ribbon curls technique. So you can see you've got some nice little boingers down here, but they still look very organically defined. This was spin styling. Now this gave me a very organic, almost completely wavy appearance. Very beachy, very fun, just a more defined version of one of the many patterns that I have on my head. So if you wanna go for kind of a beachy wave, that spin style, it's a really, really good option for you. Now, let's check out the other side. This was our horizontal sectioning, and this dried into much juicier, yet still PC and organic looking ringlets. Going horizontally, you still get curls that turn whichever direction they want to, so you don't have to worry about constantly changing the direction that the brush is facing. The only downside, I would say, is that the hair that you section out on top can very easily get in your way when you are doing the section underneath it, so just be cautious of that as you're defining. And finally, we have our coils. <laughs> These are much more defined, much springier, but also have a very specific, almost curled, really truly curled look to them. So if you're one of those people who has a Denman brush and has never really figured out the best way to use it to make your curls pop, try one 
two or all of these techniques for yourself and see which one works best for you. So that is it for today's video. What did you guys think? Go ahead and drop a line down below with any of your thoughts, opinions, and impressions on this video, as well as any of your experiences with the Denman brush and the way that the techniques have worked for you. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more technique demonstrations like it, hit this with a thumbs up. Not only does it really help to support the channel and push us forward in the algorithm, but it also helps to let me know what you guys want to see on this channel so I can make the Fit Curls the best fit for you. Speaking of the Fit Curls family, if you haven't joined it already, what the heck are you waiting for? Click that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Watch a few more videos while you're here. And don't forget to join the family all across social media. You can find me at the Fit Curls on Instagram and at the.fit.curls on TikTok because the Fit Curls was already taken. And yes, I'm still a little bit salty about that. But with that, thank you guys so much for watching this video and continuing to support the Fit Curls. Love your curls, love each other, and I will see you all next time. Bye. It's a good thing that I stop filming sometimes because otherwise, you guys would see just how big of a catastrophe I actually am. I swear this happens every time I film an outro. Mm -hmm. Every time. I just have a lot of feelings. Using horizontal opener. Vertical, Angela. Use your English words. You are a native speaker. My brain just leaves the chat. <laughs> I Did you see me literally just take vertical sections by habit? Yeah? Okay. I just need you to understand how difficult this is for me. <laughs> What impulse control? Why did I put the brush down, then hit the button, and then put the brush back up? I don't know! It's just like, bang! <laughs> Why does this clipped out section keep thinking it gets to join the party? Did you like my song? <laughs> Let me. What am I doing? What is happening? <laughs> Why, yes, I am an old timey television host. <laughs> Styling ASMR. Gosh darn it, pillowcase. And don't forget to leave a comment letting them words, Angela. I don't do this for myself, kids. I do it for you. It's. I've been wearing my robe inside out this entire time. <laughs> Pick it, damn it. <laughs> Normal! Don't let them know, let me know. Talk to me, people!